baseball is back. And I'm actually really, really excited. Um, I want to just kind of jump in. Here are the details we know about the return of the major, not the return, but the the shortened Major League Baseball season. It's going to be a 60-game season, 6-0, 60. Uh, the season's going to run from the last week in July until the last week in September. Very condensed season, 60 games in the course of about two months. The trade deadline is August 31st. Um, here, are, there's some cool new wrinkles I really like where in extra innings, a runner's going to start on second base. And it's going to be the runner, whoever whoever the last out was of the previous inning, that guy is going to go from, hey, you were out, like bot- bottom of the ninth, you were out. Hey, well, bottom of the tenth, guess what? You're now on second base to start the inning. And there's also going to be a universal designated hitter in both the AL and the NL. Every team is going to have a designated hitter. I love that. I think it's great. Uh, we don't need pitchers batting. I just think that they can focus on batting. We'll bring someone in who's better at the job, who's better at hitting. It's uh, it's interesting. I think I like it. I think it gives people like uh, there's a video by John Boyce about Adam Dunn where he talks about how the guy hated running. Well, hey, Adam Dunn doesn't need to play right field at first base. He can just be a hitter, do what he does best, and hit. That's good. Guys like Prince Fielder, people who are great at that role, can be just batters. I think it's great. Now. I'm excited. I was watching a video last night. It's called, it was called what? One million IQ MLB plays. It's by Made the Cut. And I just want to be clear. I love the sport of baseball. I I love the sport. It's a great sport. Now the league over here, the league of Major League Baseball is very different from the sport of baseball. The sport's amazing. The league I have problems with. I've been really struggling with the MLB. You know, the cheating wore me out. Um, I believe that they have way too many regular season games, 162 games. It's a long season. It's too many. I think if you oversaturate the market with games, then those games lose their meaning. And then, uh, you know, the, the unwritten rules, it, it just mm, it drives me nuts. Like, we have to hit this guy because he hit this guy, and he can't flip the bat. It's like... Can we just play baseball? Can we? Can we? What's the, the the nonsense behind the scenes? The politics of it? Like, hey, I gotta throw this guy out of the game because he did this at this time. It's like, I, it, it drives me nuts. I hate all that stuff. But the sport is amazing, and I love it. And I think the best thing about baseball to me is the tension it has. The tension in baseball is like no. I mean, in a meaningful game, it's like no other thing because you have imagine a one run game. There's a base runner on second. It's the bottom of the ninth. And you know that any pitch, any pitch can be a base hit that allows the runner to round third and score at the plate or maybe even a play at the plate. That, that's so intense to me. I love that thought of like any pitch can be the one that ends the game. It just, I, I don't think there's another sport like it where I know in basketball you can have a last second shot. I know in football you could have maybe like a crazy punt return at the end of the game, but it's not the same way where I, I just I just go back to like at the bottom of the ninth that moment you can't replace it in base in any other sport baseball has it other sports don't quite have it it's exciting there's so much depth and I want to like Major League Baseball again I want to be you know for a long time I've been kind of just waiting till the playoffs then I pay attention to baseball because the regular season who cares about some random game. In the middle of June, I, I just go like, it's a Tuesday, the 9th in June. Like, I don't I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's like the third game in a row. Some team is playing in Cleveland. I'm like, I, I'm not going to watch that. It, it doesn't matter that much because there's always another game tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And Major League Baseball has been losing me for quite a while. And it's not something I feel good about. I grew up a Major League Baseball fan. I played baseball as a kid. I love the sport. I think it's great. But slowly, I've just been pulling away. Like, we all have this old friend. Everyone has an old friend that you grew up together, you liked them, and then something happened where you just started separating, and your interests got different, and he likes to play video games, and you like to go hiking, or he's got a girlfriend, and you're like, I want to hang out with you, but you're always busy, whatever it is. We all have this one friend that... You've just kind of drifted apart for literally kind of not really a definable reason or not really a reason you feel good about, but it's happened. And that's really what happened with me in baseball. And so Major League Baseball, again, the sport of baseball. I go watch Portland Pickles games. Uh, I did last – I've gone pretty much every summer I can. Portland Pickles are this little tiny dinky 
wood bat summer ball team in Portland, Oregon, where I live. And I, I love going to games. I love baseball. But Major League Baseball has been something I've really struggled with. And this year, having a 60-game season, that's what I've wanted from baseball for so, so long. 60 games. 6-0. Instead of 162. 102 fewer games in this season than last year. And I think it's going to be great. Games are going to mean more than ever before. That game on a Tuesday now says, hey, there's not that many more games. That's got to matter. The pressure's on. Every single game matters so much more when the market isn't oversaturated with games. I just love it. I, I do wish that games are a little bit more spread apart. I think that 60 games in the course of two months, that's a lot. Like That's every single night having a baseball game, basically. Um, that's a bit much. I think that's tough to follow for me personally. Like I, I know that there's going to be days I miss, and I go, well, hey, every third day I'm going to check in and see what's going on with baseball. But for the first time in a couple years, I'm so excited to watch Major League Baseball. I love the sport. I watch way too many videos on YouTube about baseball. I think baseball is wonderful. But the league recently, the rules, the cheating, the amount of games, I just it's hard to keep up. I don't care. I just get lost in the, all the nonsense. And so this year feels like baseball minus a lot of the nonsense that I don't like. And I, I think maybe it's going to go back to normal later. I don't know. But this is a moment for me to really enjoy baseball, to watch baseball, to watch Major League Baseball, and enjoy what I haven't enjoyed in a long time. I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm alone. I, I know a lot of people, I'm sure, are quarantined. They're like, look, I'll take anything. I'll take bowling if it's a sport I can watch. So baseball, I think baseball is in a great position. This could be maybe um, – kind of a renaissance year for baseball, to really bring crowds back to say, hey, we're here, we're exciting, it's fun. And I hope, I, I, I'm just really hoping this is the year that baseball pulls me back, and I hope I stay. I want to stay, and I want baseball to make me love it again. So I, I hope that's what happens. I want to I want to like Major League Baseball. Um, I love the sport. I love watching games. I love games that matter. Every game is going to matter. It's going to be great. I think, I think they got my attention well, I know they got my attention. I think they can hold me maybe even after this year. I'm, maybe I'm romanticizing baseball a little bit. Um, but I'm so excited to watch Major League Baseball. And I, I haven't said that in like four or five years.